morning everyone so which calculator do you use this is a question that i get asked quite often especially when students are in my class trying to work out things that they've never done before on a calculator ordinary calculators have the number zero to nine plus the basic functions which are addition subtraction multiplication and division square root and sometimes negative numbers now some calculators have memory functions as well however they all differ depending on which brand you are using now i just want to say this video is not sponsored by casio they just have some amazing calculators that i have myself been using for many years and i have seen many students struggle with getting the right calculator functions in other calculators so casio is a very good brand i really recommend it and i do hope that the next few videos on how to use the calculator benefit you as well so for many years now i have been using the fx85 gt plus and i decided to upgrade the reason being because there are some functions on the new calculator the fx991 es plus that are not on the older versions so it's very useful to have especially if you are taking your igs in the next couple of years thinking of going on to do a level maths or science as well now getting started with a scientific calculator can be a bit scary at times especially if you don't know what all of the functions mean this calculator does come with some instructions, however, if you are like me, you're probably never going to read them. So do watch the next few videos to know how to actually work the calculator itself and how to get the most out of it in order to benefit you for your upcoming exams. This calculator does have two-way power, although I have never ever changed a battery in a Casio calculator because of the solar power. It has 8 modes unlike the older version which has just 4 and I will be showing you how to use most of the ones that are relevant to you if you are doing your IG and A level maths. I just want to point out some of these functions are more relevant to science and further on in your academic career as well. That's it folks, I will leave the link for it in the description below just to make sure that you get the correct one. Um, I'm also going to be using this calculator to work out some past paper questions, so do check out the next few videos that I upload. Just want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for watching my videos. I do hope they benefit you in some way, shape or form, and I will catch you in the next one.